We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. So, Lee, you've also been taking on quite a project that you've wanted to talk about for a while. So, I have, us and up. I, I hesitate to talk about it even at this point because I haven't come to solutions yet. <laughs> I haven't really fully developed a workflow yet. I'll just remind people that I've, I'm still learning how to archive old home videos. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And my New Year's resolution is going to be that I figure out all the kinks and all the, the permutations of this and I find me a good workflow and I get it done because there are too many ways to do it. And I know <laughs> too much now. And, and I've learned, I have learned to, I, I've gotten so deep in some forums online. I found uh, one digitalfaq.com, some people that do this all the time. Uh, I, I highly recommend looking at it if you're interested in archiving old, not just VHS, but of course any old tape. So oh, eight me. millimeter and high eight and, and super VHS and what have you. Uh, and and I've, I've learned so much. And I, I, so I know more about interlacing and de-interlacing than I want to know. <laughs> and I know too much about uh, color subsampling and about resolutions and the hardware that does it. So I'm getting close, but I'm, I'm afraid it isn't quite time. I want to actually make that like a feature where I can really help people. And I don't feel like I'm there yet because, again, it's just you can go too deep, and I have, so I'm going to back out again. I'm going to pull out of the mud, <laughs> and I'm going to go, okay, what's a real solution because I want to get this done. But uh, the, the, the thing is, like, I've done this with my audio. I have you know, tons and tons of cassettes. I used to do a radio show, uh, and I have uh, VHS hi-fi audio tapes that I used to record my radio mm. show on because you could get six. That was a three-hour show once a week, right. so you get uh, two shows on one tape at the six hour mode and it actually sounded pretty fantastic it well exceeded an fm broadcast so i have hundreds of those tapes and i went through this process because i already know how to do audio right and so i knew i was getting that right but video has got a lot of quirks to it so well, that I'll sounds like back maybe on. a future but, youtube tutorial or something that uh, we would be happy so. happy to link to happy now, to give you a, a few more clicks i will say i have a product recommendation for the uh, uh sort of tweaky among us this thing that i held up earlier if you're watching the video this is uh it's from a company called cloner alliance and with a name like cloner alliance you can guess who who's buying this it's the H, it, it's the hdml cloner box pro now it says hdml cloner box pro even though it does hdmi recording in other oh. words, you can bring into this box any HDMI source, or for that matter, any component high definition with the RGB analog signal. It'll record either one. It'll even record low def. Uh, and it copies anything that you want it to onto anything you hook up to the USB port. So you can stick a flash drive in there, or you can stick an external hard drive in there, and you can record to your heart's content. And I know what you're thinking, and yes, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah. Yeah, you can copy stuff like, that you're not supposed to. That's, this is true. But that's real but time, though, right? It's, it's not real like, time. No, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to do it. So if you've got an hour <laughs> program, for instance, on your DVR, uh, it's going to take an hour to copy it off. Yeah. But at least you can. Now, to me, I'll tell you where my ethics are at on this. Uh, I used to be able, in the low-def days, to record a TV program and keep it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember those days? And I yeah. never felt guilty about that. And the world got along just fine. I kind of feel like I should still be able to do that. <laughs> Just because the resolution's higher, I'm not sure why I can't. Uh, it's because of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act that I can't. Yes, yeah. That's why. Because it says you can't defeat any copy protection. Uh, this little box has its methods of doing things, and you can press magic buttons, and it'll do things for you. Uh, so if you're interested in a thing like that, uh, <laughs> and, and you know there, there are uses for it that don't violate any copyright at all. Absolutely, of it's course. Actually yes. very, like personal very, VHS. Yeah, right? you could... Copying your movies. whole movies onto it. Now, that wouldn't be ideal for a variety of technical reasons that you don't yeah. want me to talk about for an hour. <laughs> uh, but it would do an okay job at that. You, you could sample anything through this that you have. So hmm. just a neat device that I found. It only cost 130 bucks. All right. Wow. I mean, that's not bad. And you can record to anything. So some, something fun to think about. Uh, and a friend of mine got me onto this. And he got me one because he thought I should have one for Christmas. And that was super nice of him. So <laughs> uh, I have some stuff I need to archive. 
And in fact, here's another thing. Uh, I appeared, this is, has no copyright problem. I appeared in a news broadcast in my hometown. Uh, the, my neighborhood, somebody in my neighborhood has Zika. Oh my goodness. And that made the news. <laughs> yeah. And so oh. they wanted to interview somebody from the neighborhood because uh, uh, the guys came around from the health department knocking on doors looking for mosquito habitats. Yeah. How's that for a story? <laughs> and so I made it on local news. I want to copy that off. It's in high def. I can do it now. Understood. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.